Uh, welcome back. Okay, we're on the home front now, so we're nearly uh, nearly done. Um, right, okay, we created the gallery and we tested it all worked. Now we need to just apply some buttons to this area down here. So what I'm going to do is create a... I mean, we could do it straight using these here, but I'm actually going to put some blocks over the top. It's up to you, you might want to create them, but for speed um, I'm going to just use blocks. And in fact I'm going to use the same blocks that I used for the um, gallery. Just to show you how to do that, you already know how to create buttons, so let's reuse some bits from the existing gallery. So what I need to do is go to Window and then Library. And if you look over here, you'll see that my gallery button is here. I can drag that into here like so now all I'm going to do is reduce it down if it lets me like that and like that and I'm going to drag it be careful because it's quite difficult to see these I'll put it there and in fact to separate it although I've got it on the navigation layer and it is top I think I'm going to separate it so I'm going to control C Q X to uh, cut it I'm going to create another layer and call that button actions and then I'm going to put that paste that in place ok I can lock these out now and I'm going to move down to here remember as we said we're not going to go back to the home page so to repeat this I'm going to hold the alt shift to keep it in line take it to about halfway because I just want to drag this in and mouse it across so we're sort of there I'm going to drag this one across alt and the shift there I need to make it a little bit bigger okay now we know that the about us has got to go to frame 2 and stop and in fact my actions up here which I need to label that actions remember we took the stops off because we need, needed to get to the flash gallery so I'm going to simply copy these back in that copy frame oh. I'm going to copy the frame, I'm going to paste the frame, and once again, paste the frame. This, I'm going to want to go to frame 2. So I'm looking at actions, and in this case, I'm going to have on a press, and then I'm going to have go to frame 2 and stop. And then in here, this is showing you another way of doing it. I'm going to copy this code. I could have copied the button like we did for the gallery, but I'm not. I'm going to copy the actual code. That way I can select this one, go inside here, and paste it. Control V. But I upgrade this to 3. When I go into the last one, I upgrade that to 4. Okay, now these buttons will take me to the correct places and stop within our site. So all I need to do now is to drop the text into my text layer that we created earlier and then export it out. So that's my layer. Um, I just want to use some dummy text, you know, I'm just going to put it in here, it doesn't matter. Um, notice that if I drag this sort of sets a box width. If I drop there it will everything will roll down so I'm going to do it quite big over all of that and then I'm going to just get some dummy text um, I go to a website called uh, lipsum.com which uh, produces Laura Ipsum text down the bottom it will give you a generate um, and it gives you different se settings you generate the the text there and there you go it's generated some nice dummy text for me to put in there so I'll copy that come back in here go back to my 
the layer, put that across, and then simply drop the text in. I'm going to leave it all on the defaults there. Port it to black. It's in white at the moment. Change it to black. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'll give it a title so you can tell we've got to the correct page. About us. Okay, and for speed, I'm just going to copy this text because you can lay it out and color it however you like. Then we're in the gallery where I already put the text, and then we're in the contact page where I'm going to paste this in place. So this is the contact us page, so I need to just change the title contact us, and then I'm going to put in a take a bit of this text away and this is, isn't a form that I'm doing in this lesson we'll be doing that later um, contact name David Telly 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8 email test at test Website, they're already there, but uh, www.test.com. Um, now I'm going to show you how to put a link in there. If you just select that text, we can actually create a link down here. And what you need to do to get it open up your mail program is go M A I L T O mail to, then a colon and then type in the email address you want it to go to. So that doesn't necessarily have to have an email, it could just say click here. It's in here that it would take it from, not here. And we can put test at test.com. And now when you click on that, that's a link. And when you click on that, that will, and it's underlined it there to show it's a link. It's always a good idea to make it a different color as well. So people know it's a link. Um, you can do exactly the same for this web website here as well, but there will be a slight difference. We wouldn't use the mail to. We would come down here and just put HTTP, like you would get in the browser, colon, forward slash, forward slash, www, whatever the website is you like, dot com. And Target here would open it in itself, or it would open it as a blank page. So I'm going to open it as a blank. Just play around with that and see how it works. Um, the mail to it doesn't really matter because it will always open it in the mail program which won't, will not be um, within your browser so it's kind of redundant okay that's that done right the last part of the course is going to be just exporting this and get showing you the different options for um, exporting oh there's one last thing I need to do is go into the gallery double click on that and I just need to stop it from running because we don't want it to be like a uh, um, like a slideshow. Although you could, if you extended all of these, it would have run through it as you saw earlier. And I'm just going to put a stop at the beginning frame because that's all I need because all the actions stop anyway. So go into actions down here, and in that beginning frame, I just come down to stop and just put a stop in there and that should all work. I'm just going to test this out now and then we will export. There's another job that I'm working on. Ooh, wrong one. Gallery site, flash, www, gallery, replace it. I'll just test this now and then I'll tell you about output, um, about exporting in the next lesson. Okay, here we go. So this is the site, it's opened up, and um, you can see it stopped, that's beautiful. These colour, the same way that they will on the gallery, go to About Us, there's the About Us page. Go to the gallery, there's the gallery, stopped on the first image. Over these, up come your pictures, go back to Contact, that runs to a mail to, if you click it, that will go to your website if you click it. So that's it, that's all ready to go into an HTML page, which we'll do in the next lesson.